Hey guys, and welcome back. Okay, so I showed you chroma key. I've shown you how I do my basic visual uh, color adjustments. So now we have audio. So I am going to select, well, it seems to be taking a while. Um, if you look, this, these yellow parts, if you, do, if you do a render, this is what it will render to and from. So I'll, I want to render all the way to the end. Okay, so those, those yellow things there show you what you're encompassing as far as your renderings go. It doesn't hurt to zoom in, take a look, make sure it's all the way to the end, which it is. And here, I don't really need my intro um, as far as the sound because I like the sound of that. It's clean sound. It's a well done intro. So this is as far as I need. So now I want to render an audio file. Now, if you have some music in the background, uh, what you can do is you can mute it here. That's your mute. Uh, that way, when you render, it only renders the one channel. So let's go ahead and render. Of course, I don't. So I'm just rendering the audio that's on there. And of course, this is the very first video. So I'm going to change my folder because I don't want it in my videos folder. Change it to my music folder. Which I should call it my sound folder, but early on it was music, and so that's what it has become. And uh, we will call this Studio Setup 1. I don't have a better work. That's my working title. I don't really have a better one. Um, you'll see down here, I'm using WMV because it's one of the smallest formats that you can compress it into. Uh, I'm also using 24 frames per second. Uh, and I do that. I like the 1080 HD. But if it's not a video game, because video games you really need to render at 60 frames per second. But if you're just doing visual like I am, 24 frames per second is a little bit closer to, uh, to theater uh, quality. Uh, and it's, it renders a lot smaller. So it's certainly sufficient for any of the vlog videos that I do. And this is going to take a few minutes. Oops. Actually, I do not want to do that. Sorry. The WMV file, of course, is a video file. You're only going to be doing that if you are rendering a video file, which right now I need to render the audio. So I have it on music. Do this again. Um, studio setup one. And let's go up here. Uh, WAV. That's that's what I actually wanted to do. And that won't take too long. It's going to take us a little over a minute. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Audacity. Uh, this computer I'm using is a few years old. Uh, it, it functions fairly well, considering everything that I have running on it. Uh, I would like to have a faster computer, but, you know, this is a computer that I already had. So, as, as I mentioned in the last video, you know, doing things on a budget, obviously, if you already have some things, it's a lot better to utilize those things than it is to buy something new. However, right, with that being said, I would love to have a much nicer computer, probably a desktop that has a lot more processing power. Uh, my renderings, especially like uh, the gameplay videos that I do render at 60 frames per second, um, those typically are going to take me 12 to 16 hours to render, uh, which is one of the reasons I do not upload every day. I've got, uh, I, of course, this is a hobby. I have a lot of other things that I do in my life, and I just don't have the time to, you know, not only to sit and play every day, but also to spend that much time editing and then rendering. So... Uh, but who knows, with a faster computer or something like that may be possible without taking up too much of my time. All right, so we're going to open this up. We're already in the music folder here. So we're looking for Studio Setup 1. That's what we called it. Need to clean these out a little bit. It's okay. Studio Setup 1. All right. And now here we go into our Audacity tutorial. I don't do a whole lot here. Uh, it doesn't take me very long. But it makes for a pretty clean project. And as I said, I always do the, the audio last. So I've edited the video completely. I have it exactly the length uh, that I want. I'm not going to cut anything else out. Okay, so that is my audio file right there. So I'm going to go to... 
I, I've got a couple of things that spike all the way, but they're not many. So I'm actually not going to worry. If you do have quite a bit, you can go here to um, not normalize compressor. If you use compressor, that will bring all of those those lines down to something more normal. On the other hand, let's say the audio file you recorded um, is very small. Let's uh, say your graphs in here, there's not a lot of change, uh, in which case you can normalize. And normalizing too is when you have a video, actually probably wouldn't hurt for me to go ahead and normalize. Uh, when you have a video, and I pretty much stick with the defaults, uh, if you know a lot about sound editing, there's a lot you can actually do in Audacity, but the defaults work pretty well for me. Uh, and so this will make, if you have clips of varying sounds, this will bring all of them together, like make them more uniform. Uh, and as you can see, the beginning and the end, uh, I've got a little more volume than on the rest. Of course, part of that's because I, I put it in the, in the edit. The smaller portions is where I was holding the camera, and so the mic was closer to my face. So as I was editing, I moved those, those levels down a little bit. The first effect that I like to do is the noise cancellation. So I'm going to zoom in. Here's your zoom in. And I'm basically just looking for a section where there's no, no talking. Something like this. So let's go there and zoom in a little bit. And all you have to do when you have this little, uh, the little eye icon, which is that right there, is drag. Now, if you hit space bar, that's pretty clean. Uh, uh, as far I do, you don't want a whole lot of other sounds because this is the sampling that we're going to use to do the noise removal. So that's kind of the standard noises. Let's check this one first. So you can hear a little bit of rustling, which means it's going to remove those as well. See, that was me inhaling. I'm going to go ahead and stick with that. So you go to noise removal, effects, noise removal. And the first thing you have to do is get your noise profile. So it just took a noise profile from that most quietest area. Then I control A, or you can drag it, select all, and go back to that same effect again, noise removal. And this time, you tell it, OK, do the noise removal. And basically what we did is we, we got that small sampling of background noise. So it, it took a sample from that and is removing all of those sounds. Uh, if you have a whole lot of background noise, you're going to start getting kind of a creepy effect in your audio, uh, which is why most people do not use the onboard camera on, or excuse me, the onboard microphone on cameras because they do tend to pick up a lot of that uh, end edge sound. Plus, um, if there's a lot of echo in the room, which previously there was here, but now that I have that soundproofing you saw in the last video, I don't. So here you see now that line is is flat. There's nothing on it. So you know we can listen to that. And it's just really silent. So how to do a studio. See, there you go. That's, uh, that sounds a lot better than it did. All right. So the next thing that I like to do, and you got to be careful on this one because it's a nice effect, but you can do it too much. I go to the equalization, which basically brings up an equalizer. Uh, this is actually from a preset. If you come down here, select curve. Uh, you can give it an AM radio sound, telephone. There's a lot of neat little different effects. This is the bass boot boost effect, bass boost effect. Uh, and all it does is basically these have been raised up a little bit to bring the bass out a little bit more, which I like. Uh, I've got a, I've got a decent voice as far as kind of a baritone sound. Uh, obviously I'm not going to hit that low announcer type, type sound. And you don't want to do that artificially anyway. I mean, you want, you can add a little bit to your voice, but you don't want to completely change it. So, uh, so that's what I do. So here we go. I've got the noise cancellation. I just did the bass. That's boost. as much as I can show you There's from here. A couple of effects. Let me get behind the camera. How to do a studio. So that's some pretty good sound. I, I like that. I don't know why it's ending on a buzz, but um, if you really want to dig into this, uh, you could go a lot more detailed. Uh, and this, I actually would recommend. I often don't take the time to do it. Uh, but it adds hey, a lot. Would you like a Neil Bryan business card? There you go. It's great. Lots of great information. So all of those areas where there is no talking, uh, there's a neat little shortcut key. I'm actually not sure where it is up here. I'm sure it's up here as well. Uh, but you can basically select, excuse me, just drag across these quiet parts. 
and select Control L. That means silent, so there's no well, sound at all. Dr. Pepper. Okay. So if you hit spacebar, it's going to play that little section. And you can also drag that little section further if you want. So Control L. Okay, so without me in the... So you see that? That that was actually really nice because I got well, all that Dr. little Pepper. stuff out of there. Okay, so without me in the frame... Nice, clean sound. So there's absolutely now nothing we'll, there in the middle. Uh, zoom in uh, just enough. Uh, okay, to see so... A more of the behind the scenes another workings. thing you can do... Uh, and so... i got to remember to hit the pause. So right uh, here, I've got where here. I'm taking a breath. Let's say I don't want that. I can take out that breath. Okay, you have to hit stop before you hit control L. So. Behind the scenes working. Uh, so now, uh, and what's cool? No breath. There. Uh, there's I'll also it, uh, right now. So if you want, see there is, there was another one I didn't like. Deep breath. Anyway, my point being, you can kind of come through here and clean it up and even further if you don't mind going bit by bit. This. See, that was a and bunch of camera see, movement. We, we don't we don't want to hear that. We've got So starting right here and moving over. Control L. Watch it, it'll disappear. Boom. We basically Silence. we've got this fabric. See there you go. Uh, and I think I'm gonna take out this little breath as well. It gets tricky whenever you're you're working in the middle of a of a sentence like that because sometimes you'll cut off too much. So if you, you can always control Z and that will undo whatever you just did uh, or edit. We've got undo. So that's a little bit of a sudden drop off. I got the end of the word, but it dropped off quickly. So here's another tip for you: if you have something like that and you really don't like yeah. that sudden just kind of clipping. What you can do is come up here and you choose this envelope tool and you see now the bars have changed and you've got this little thing. What I do is I'll click and I, I get two points here. What this will do is this basically will change your levels. Of course, there's only one dot on the line, so I'm controlling the levels for the entire line. So I'm going to do one dot there as a marker. I'm going to do another dot here as a marker. And then I'm going to put a dot here in the center. See, now I've got one effect right here. We've and I can got, minimize kind of that end sound. We've got... See? Much better. No pop. That's what that does. So I'm going to come back up to this one because I like this selector better. And, uh, and I think that's pretty much all I want to do. Let me make sure there's no more long moments of silence with camera noise. Just kind of scroll through. I'm looking for big breaks. It's a lot of work if, if you actually want to go... Bit by You're bit. Amazing. Incredible. Let's see what else Don't let on anyone here. tell you differently. Bye bye. Say a little bit of sound there. Let's. That's at the end. So let's get some silence on that long part. Control L. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Bye bye. All right. Sorry about that. I think my computer's kind of fussing at me. Action actually takes up quite a bit uh, of memory as well as the uh, movie studio, and I'm running Audacity, so I'm kind of, I'm probably, I'm stressing my processor is what I'm doing here, so it's fussing at me a little bit. But anyway, that is pretty much the, the end, so let me hit stop, and we will export this file, go to a w, WAV file. Now, I'm actually replacing the other one I put up. I don't mind that, but you want to be careful. I know that I like it, and there's no mistakes, and I'm willing to risk having to redo all this work if there is, uh, like to the point that I will have to bring my raw video back down and chop it all up again because I'm about to delete that audio that I've chopped up and replace it with this. So a bit of a risk uh, to save over stuff like that. Always be careful. Uh, Murphy is not your friend because uh, often what can go wrong will. But I've done enough of these, and again, I'm, I, it's it, all of life is risk management, and that's I'm, I feel safe enough that I'm going to go ahead and copy over that. So here's the real danger part of that is I'm going to come in. There we 
go. Got all that audio selected. Now, grouping is something that I haven't really talked about. If you group items together, different clips, they'll move together. Now, the problem comes if they're grouped. If you delete, like if I delete this sound, a bunch of that video is going to delete with it because it's grouped together. So I selected all the sound. I come in here to group. I right-click, by the way. It's a right-click menu, if you're wondering. And I go to remove from. So now that's taken out. There's no more group there. So I can, I'm going to go ahead and scroll out so you can see nothing else getting deleted. Just the sound. Boom. So now I'm going to import what we just created. And that's in the music folder. Oh, that's why it's called music. It's a standard Windows name. Uh, and I'm going to go down to studio. There it is. Studio setup one. Import that. I'm going to let it finish importing because it usually likes that. All right. And I'm going to drop that down right here. Scroll, zoom in, make sure that looks good. Yeah, sometimes it'll stop where your little icon is instead of going all the way back up. So let's put that here. And actually, I've got a little space there too I didn't catch earlier. So I'm going to do some... Uh, I'm going to do a shift click, pick up all these, um, and I missed that, so I'm going to control click that to include it, and bump all that back. All right, so hey, now with our sound would you like in, to come on a business card? There you go. It's great. Lots of great information. Yeah, my processor isn't happy. Oh, forgot to move that part back. Oh, see, and that's one of the reasons I struggle a little bit with uh, multiple channels. Uh, I don't always keep as good of attention. Uh, I, here's a good point, uh, something I have not mastered. You can see right here around my hand when I'm waving and moving, uh, sometimes it's difficult to get all of that green screen out. You see a little bit of green tinge there. Sometimes you see some green tinge around my hair, especially when I'm moving. Um, and I don't know if it's, I don't know what the fix is for that because I've got a lot of good backlighting. I've got a good hair light. Uh, perhaps that's Sony Vegas versus uh, Movie Studio Platinum. Uh, I'm not sure. So, but it's it's still decent. Uh, it's not too bad. I'm not not fussing. Almost missed that little part. And here's where you, where you're now going to get into the rendering because as far as my computer goes, we have reached its boundaries. I mean, you're trying to preview depending on which way that I'm looking. So I often try to fill. I mean, it's. The video hardly moves at all. It's very, very jumpy. It's because my processor can't keep track of everything in there and still play and give me a smooth feedback. So this is point normally I will select a small portion, a few seconds, five seconds, whatever. I'll do a short render, uh, and then I'll view that render and make sure that, for instance, all the green screen stuff looks good, that the sound is in sync with the video. Uh, and if it is, then I'll do an entire rendering. And I'll make sure when you do the first rendering, as I do, always watch through completely before you upload that video. Because nothing more embarrassing than uploading the video, taking the time to get it all up there, put all your tags in and all your descriptions in, and then when you go to watch it and there's, you know, a huge lapse or the, you know, like I did a gameplay one time and I hadn't synced up uh, the video uh, audio with the game audio, and so the game audio was fine. It was recorded separately, but I reacted like a second before anything happened. And it, now it's, that's embarrassing. You don't want to upload videos like that. In that case, I deleted that video. I went back into my software. I corrected the error. I re-uploaded it and basically did it all again. So always uh, preview your videos before you upload them. That's just a little Neil Bryan tip that hopefully you probably already know, because uh, if, like me, you have gotten yourself into trouble doing that. So... That is the end of uh, Studio Setup 2. I hope you guys garnered a lot out of it. If you have additional questions, I kind of covered the basics of what I do in my editing as far as my video and my software, or excuse me, my, my video and my audio. So hopefully that answers any questions already. But if you have additional questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. I'll do what I can to answer them. Thank you guys for being here. I hope this video was helpful to you. Remember, you're awesome and incredible. There is a plan for your life. If you're breathing, you got purpose. So until next time, guys, bye-bye.